now from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Now, our roller coaster ride continues after hitting 65 on Sunday evening. Temperatures bottomed out with a high of 32 today. That was really the big story. Our low was obviously colder, but a daytime high of only 32 in early December. That is pretty cold, but we'll be back to normal tomorrow, and then we get that shot at a record high on Friday. But here are the highs from this afternoon, and they range from only 29 up in Fairfield to the 32 in Evansville. It did hit 41 in Madisonville, and we'll continue to have a bit of a spread from north to south here in the next uh, one to two days as that colder air slowly retreats. And the snow will do so overnight. Live first warning Doppler radar still showing scattered light snow out there. One hour time lapse kind of shows it slowly drying up here, but we've had a little bend that came out of the Fairfield area, kind of tracking right along the White River. So I think a little snow may be reaching the ground from just north of Princeton up towards Petersburg, maybe the Jasper area. And then we're also getting those darker blue returns from uh, roughly the Lewisport area through Tell City into Perry County, where you could have a little light snow. And for the most part, it's been a dusting on the cars, on the grass. It hasn't caused any issues. And this will be on the way out over the next several hours. Here's how the day unfolded from the perspective of downtown Owensboro. We had a little filtered sun early this morning, and those clouds thickened up. And it was just a, one of those really gray, cold winter days days or winter like days and now skies are still overcast that's the case in downtown Evansville but the visibility is good which tells you there's very little if any snow uh, falling temperatures at 29 winds are out of the east northeast at 8 miles per hour and we got temperatures ranging from 28 here in the northern fringe to still 35 down to the south so overnight lows will probably be right around freezing in our southern counties and then mid 20s up uh, to the north and the visibilities right now are pretty well improved compared to earlier when we had them reduced over Dubois County but they are down a bit up in the Princeton area so there could be a little bit of light snow reaching the ground there that little band along the White River but everybody else seeing visibilities around 10 miles so this little system on the way out little upper level wave doesn't have too much moisture to work with clearing skies already stretching along the I-70 corridor, and we'll begin to see a little bit of clearing working in from the northwest overnight, and then we should be mostly sunny by tomorrow afternoon. So Future Tracker takes the scattered light snow, gets it out of here, and then skies clear tomorrow, and it turns out to be a nice afternoon as temperatures are back to normal, ranging from uh, upper 40s to the north, low 50s down to the south, forecasting 47 in Evansville for the high, and then increasing clouds later tomorrow night with lows down to around 30, and despite more clouds and sun on Thursday, it's going to be a windy and warmer day, 55 to 60 for the high. Maybe some spotty showers coming in from the west late in the day, but doesn't look like much, if any, significant rain on Thursday. But later Thursday night, scattered showers begin to increase across the area. 6 a.m., a few are here and there. A little band comes through with the warm front around noon Friday. Then we could dry out for a while later in the afternoon as temperatures take a run at 70. That's the record for Friday. And then you can see a few storms building here just just off to the west of the tri-state as we head into Friday evening, and that'll be the main event. Increasing showers and thunderstorms and probably at least a marginal level one threat for severe weather. So some clearing overnight as the flurries end. Temperatures ranging from 24 to the north, 33 down to the south. We'll turn mostly sunny tomorrow, upper 40s to lower 50s. Seven-day forecast. Clouds kind of moving back in Thursday, but we'll still have a little sunshine. Windy and warmer, though. Just spotty showers late, high of 57. Friday is still a weather-aware day for some scattered showers during the day. But the bigger concern will be Friday evening into the overnight hours as increasing showers and thunderstorms approach with the cold front ending during the pre-dawn hours. Both models had just updated here this evening have the rain gone by 6 a.m. with the heaviest late evening till about midnight, 1, maybe 2. AM, and that would be the primary window for any sort of severe weather threat. And then a very windy, cooler Saturday. Uh, any rain ends early. We see some clearing. 53, the high could be a morning high with falling temperatures. And Sunday will probably be the nicer day. Looks like a mostly sunny sky. Highs around 50. And then temperatures warming back through the 50s uh, for much of next week as we continue to see. Uh, this up and down temperature swing. And tomorrow night at 6 and 10, my winter weather outlook. I'll let you know what I'm expecting, not only for the rest of December, but for the next three months. We always look forward to that. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot, yeah. Wayne.